Welcome back, Money Teams. This is Man Money Shots. Never out the Madden cheese, as always. That's right, Madden 25 is out. If you have the uh, the deluxe edition, you can play it right now on the 12th. The first video I want to put out for you guys is the top eight, the elite eight teams to use in Madden 25. These are eight teams that really don't have much of a weakness at all. So if you want to use one of the best teams to give yourself advantage, these are going to be the eight teams to use. But before I do, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber, like button, let me know in the comment section. If you need more help or more money plays, I already have an ebook out. That's right. I already have out two ebooks for Madden 25. If you guys want to download them instantly, all you have to do is click the links in the description or the top pin comment. Now these are going to be the best teams for either regs or online head to head. So you're going to have to have at the very least to make this list a good quarterback. That means a quarterback with either superstar abilities or X factor abilities, or at the very least meets the throwing accuracy threshold of 85 on all three tiers. Because if you don't have at least an 85, you're going to have inaccurate passes, which means the teams like the Bears, which is a team I really wanted to put on this list because they really have a lot of talent uh, isn't going to make this list based off the fact that they don't have a quarterback that meets that threshold. Caleb Williams does not meet that threshold yet. Same thing goes with a team like the Browns who have one of the best rosters in the entire game, but their quarterback situation is pretty poor. So to make this list, like I said, you got to have a good quarterback or else your passing game is going to be pretty non-existent. Starting off at number eight with the Buffalo Bills. This team would make the list if it wasn't for Josh Allen, who's one of the best arms in the game, some of the best abilities, bazooka. You know, he's a great running quarterback, 88 speed, you name it. This guy has it all. And he really is the offense because when you get to the rest of the offense James Cook is good you know he's an above average running back I, I think he's good but when you get to the receiving core that's when it really gets kind of poor Curtis Samuels your best receiver he's really just like a trick play guy he's like a you know guy you throw to the ball with bubble screens and stuff like that he's not a great receiver but he has 93 speed and so does Marquise Valdez Scantling who used to be, I think like a 94 or 95 they also have KJ Hamler who's only 5'9 but he's also 94 speed so you got three receivers that are above 93 speed which is probably the most important thing and they also have a lot of really good tight ends with speed as well Dawson uh, Knox is a 87 speed and Dalton Kincaid a first round rookie from last year is an A6 speed both of them are very tall so you can work your offense around a two tight end system the offensive line is pretty average again as well uh, when you get to the defensive side though they kind of pick it back up a little bit with uh, Greg Rousseau former first round pick A6 overall uh, Von Miller A6 overall who's actually faster even though he's 35 years old uh, and then Ed Oliver who's a really good defensive tackle so your front four solid and they do have one of the best linebackers in the game in Matt Milano, who looks like they pumped up his speed a little bit. It's now an A7 speed. So they do have one of the better linebackers in the game. When you get to the secondary, got some really strong cornerbacks as well with Taron Johnson and uh, Razul Douglas. You still got a young guy too with a 93 speed in Kyrie Elam, a former first round pick that you could probably work up in a CFM. Next up, we got the Lions. And I know Jared Goff isn't as good of a quarterback as some of the teams behind him, but he has a much better roster around him. He barely meets the throwing thresholds with the exception of deep accuracy. He's one below that. But when you get to the running backs and the receivers around him, he probably has one of the best uh, offensive groups around him in the entire game. With Jameer Gibbs, 94 speed, and David Montgomery, a good power back. Both of them 83 and above. Uh, when you get to the receivers, Amon Ross St. Brown is one of the best in the game at a 95 overall. And they also have one of the fastest receivers in the entire game in Jameson Williams with a 98 speed. Uh, Sam Laporta, one of the best young Titans in the game. He's already a superstar after a monster rookie year. You get to the offensive line. This is where they really shine. They got, might have the best offensive line in the game. Taylor Decker, uh, Frank Ragnow, uh, Kevin Zietler, and Panay Sewell, all monsters on the offensive line. So you might have the best offensive line in the game and some of the better running backs in the game as well. On the defensive side, though, a little spotty once again. Aiden Hutchinson, one of the better uh, defensive ends in the game, though, already a superstar. Two really strong defensive tackles with DJ Reader at a 95 strength, a really good run stuffer. But this team really gets back when it comes to the secondary with Carlton Davis, the number one cornerback. Uh, they drafted Taron Arnold, a first round pick, uh, with their secondary really rounding out with Brian Branch being one of the best young safeties in the entire game. Next up, I got my Philadelphia Eagles. And I got to be honest, I'm a little down on them. I don't think they're nearly as good as last year when I had them as like a top three team, but they're still pretty solid. Jalen Hurts has abilities. He's also got an 89 speed, so he's really fast, but his throw power is kind of kind of less than average. Uh, Saquon Barkley, definitely a huge upgrade at running back. And, you know, he's one of the best running backs in the entire game. Superstar abilities, all that. That's really what puts them on this list is their weapons. A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, both superstars and X-Factors. They don't have a lot of speed anymore than they lost Quez Watkins, but Paris Campbell is still a 93 speed, so it gives them three good options. And they got Johnny Wilson as a six foot seven rookie. So I can imagine what you could do with him with some rocket catch opportunities. So they still have a little bit of speed, a little bit of height, and that's going to be important. When it comes to the tight ends, Dallas Goddard is still one of the better tight ends in the game, even though he lost his X-Factor or superstar ability or whatever. And Alex Boomer is one of the faster ones 
at six foot five, 88 speed. So lots of speed on offense, lots of ability there. The offensive line is still very strong with Jordan Mailata, Landon Dickerson, and uh, Lane Johnson giving you three very good offensive linemen. But there's still two missing. So you're going to have to grow some of these guys in, uh, you know, in a franchise. Like the defense is pretty solid too. Uh, Brandon Graham still holding down at an 80, Josh Sweat an 81. But you got a lot of speed mixed in here with guys like Nolan Smith, who's a 92 speed edge. If you can work him up into CFM, he's going to be a beast. Jalen Carter obviously already has superstar abilities. Uh, guys like Devin White, who they signed this year on a one-year contract, 88 speed. They got a lot of fast guys. Warren Burks. You could definitely blitz with some of these, some of the speed of these linebackers, but they're not very good. You get to the secondary, and they got a lot of young talent and a lot of speed. With Darius Slay, obviously not being young, but he's still a superstar. Uh, Isaiah Rogers, 94 speed. Quinion Mitchell, 94 speed. Their first-round rookie. Cooper DeZine, 92 speed. Keely Ringo, six foot two with 94 speed. So lots of great guys to use in a CFM, especially. Then you get to the secondary or the safeties, rather. CJ Gardner Johnson. Next up, we got the Texans. This team went all in around CJ Stroud. For a CFM, this is probably one of the best teams because CJ Stroud is on a rookie contract. He's already got superstar abilities, so you won't have to unlock that. They put a lot of weapons around for this year. Joe Mixon, very good player. Still a 91 speed, 91 overall. Even Damian Pierce, who had a monster rookie year. I don't know what happened to him. He must have fell out of favor, but you got two really good running backs there. You could trade one if you wanted to. As far as receivers, you got three receivers. Uh, with Stefan Diggs, superstar, being one of the best in the game. Nico Collins, superstar. And uh, Tank Dell had a monster rookie year. All of them are above 80. Uh, I meant to say X-Factor when I said Stefan Diggs. So they have a lot of talent there. Dalton Schultz came over from the Cowboys. Uh, very good tight end, 84 overall, 83 speed. You also got uh, Brevin Jordan here, who's an 87 speed tight end. One of the faster ones in the game, once again. Offensive line is really all about Laramie Tensel. One of the best left tackles in the game. When you get to the defense, Will Anderson Jr., 87 speed on one side. Daniel Hunter, superstar, 88 speed on the other side. That's all you really need to know. Christian Harris, though, 90 speed uh, linebacker. Very good especially if you're trying to use them. And they have a 91 speed linebacker as a rookie in Jamal Hill. So lots of speed for blitzes and for usering. When you get to the uh, back side here, this is where they get strong once again with Derek Stingley Jr., former first round pick, 93 overall, uh, 93 speed with an 88 overall. Uh, doesn't have any abilities yet. They don't have anybody that has abilities, but they do have uh, Desmond King, also 80 plus. Jalen Petrie and uh, Jimmy Ward, or I think they just recently brought over from the Niners, round out a very strong secondary, which is probably the best thing on their entire defense. Next up, we got the Niners, which is another team that would be better if they had a slightly better quarterback. Although Brock Purdy definitely has superstar abilities and meets all the throw accuracy thresholds. So he's going to be accurate just within a certain distance because his 85 throw power is very weak. But they're a run team anyway. So Christian McCaffrey, best running back in the game. Uh, maybe the best blocking fullback and maybe the best receiving fullback in the game. And Kyle Husechek as well. You get to the receiving core. You have a very strong three-receiver tandem between Brandon Ayuk, uh, Debo Samuel, both of which are superstars and X-Factor players. And they also got a speedster in uh, Danny Gray, who's a 95 speed. George Kittle, also one of the best blocking Titans in the game and one of the best receiving Titans in the game with an 88 speed. So this team's absolutely loaded as far as weapons around their quarterback, including uh, left tackle Trent Williams, who's the best left tackle in the game. Although that's it. They don't have any other linemen that rate very high. On the defensive side, though, one of the best defenses, even though not very fast, which is usually an issue. But they do have Nick Bosa and uh, Leonard Floyd, both of which are going to be solid. Uh, a guy like Robert Beal Jr., 90 speed defensive ends are rare, so you can work him up in a CFM. They still have Javon Hargrave as well. Very good defensive tackle. Their linebacking core is one of the best in the league when you don't need a lot of linebackers. But Fred Warner got a, it looks like he got a speed boost as he's an 88 speed now. Also, Zone Hall Superstar X Factor, uh, and then you also have Drake Greenwall, or I think might have got a little bit of a speed boost too, an 86 speed and 87 overall. So very strong two linebacker core, and that's about all you need. The second is pretty strong too, with guys like Tre'Davious Ward, Deamador Lenore, which is going to be very difficult to say. They got some got some tough names here. But those are two very good cornerbacks, even though they have X-Factors or Superstar abilities. And Taya Hufunga. Next up, we got the Jets. And we didn't get to see this in real life, but Aaron Rodgers is back. Superstar abilities and all. He still has Gunslinger, which is very important. You got Brees Hall, who's one of the best running backs in the game as far as speed. But he also has evasive it's just going to make him even stickier uh, he's going to be one of the best running backs to use in the game at receiver they brought in mike williams superstar player with a six foot four frame that's going to be very helpful for moss and people and garrett wilson is a 92 speed very good receipt or a very good receiving core just because of those two guys but they also have a guy hidden on the depth chart here named tyler harrell who's a 97 speed rookie so those three receivers is going to give you everything you need making this a 
very good offense. One of the best offenses in the entire game. They don't have much of a tight end. Todd Conklin's cool. Uh, their offensive line got much better when they brought Tyron Smith over, who's a superstar as well, the 95 overall left tackle. And they do have a couple of other guys with Morgan Moses and uh, Elijah Vera Tucker. So the offensive line is not just one guy. On defense, they're solid. Jermaine Johnson, very good young player, 80 on one side, 85 speed. And Hassan Reddick, who I don't know, maybe he'll get traded. I don't know what's going on with him. But as of right now, he's an A6 speed defensive end to give you a very good, fast defensive end core uh, between those two guys. And then you got Quinn Williams, Quinn Williams, maybe the best defensive tackle on the entire game. So very strong defensive front. The linebackers are strong too with CJ Mosley, who's only an 85 speed, which kind of hurts him, but uh, still one of the highest rated linebackers. And they also have Quincy Williams, an 88 speed linebacker on the other side, who's 84 overall. At uh, secondary, we all know about Sauce Gardner, one of, maybe the best cornerback in the entire game. I think he's probably rated that way. And uh, DJ Reed Jr., who's also very strong on the other side. Next up, speed kills in Madden, and that's why the Dolphins are pretty much a top team every single year. I have them at number three here. Uh, one of the reasons is Tua Tungavailoa doesn't really have much throw power. If he had like a Patrick Mahomes type of arm, they'd definitely be higher. But he does have superstar abilities, and all of his accuracies meet the threshold as he's got 90-plus on all of them. So still a solid quarterback. But he's the only thing really holding back this offense is they have the fastest running back in the game and Devin A. Chain and Raheem Mostert are superstar abilities. They have the fastest receivers in the game with Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddell, and even Anthony Schwartz who they picked up somewhere. Oh, by the way, they also have Odell Beckham chilling on the roster. So definitely the best, one of the best receiving cores in the entire game. One of the fastest tight ends too with John U. Smith, 89 speed. They got a really good left tackle who's got superstar abilities and Teron Armstead who's also very fast by the way, which is just super weird at 77 speed. You could probably play tight end, but the rest of the offensive line is not that great when you get to the defensive side they got a lot of speed there too uh, but they still have a lot of really good linebackers when it comes to guys like Jalen Phillips Chop Robinson who's a 90 speed outside linebacker first round pick uh, they also have uh, some good speed guys hitting on the roster like Jordan Brooks down here uh, Channing Tindall I think was a second round pick a couple years ago 91 speed so they got a lot of guys like that Bradley Chubb uh, who's a really good edge rusher Shaquille Barrett I think he retired so they're probably going to take him out in an update uh, to go along with a very strong secondary with Jalen Ramsey 92 speed and uh, Kendall Fuller, who's an A7 overall. Uh, you know, very strong secondary with the safeties as well, with Javon Holland and uh, Jordan Poyer, who they brought over from the, uh, the Bills, a superstar from the Bills. Next up, we got the Ravens. Once again, speed kills. They got the fastest quarterback in the game, who's also maybe faster than just about every single running back in the game, and that's Lamar Jackson, who's a 98 overall, coming off of another MVP season, also has superstar X-Factor abilities, you name it, meets all the thresholds. One of the best weapons in the entire game, and they went and paired him with maybe the most OP running back in the entire game, and Derrick Henry. So this is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, by the way, they also have uh, Keaton Mitchell, a 94 speed running back, which is one of the fastest running backs in the game, but Derrick Henry, Superstar abilities, X-Factors, this guy's an absolute tank. Uh, so those two guys alone should make this team make the list. One of the best running backs, one of the best quarterbacks. It's that simple. But they also have a really good team around them. One of the better fullbacks, too. I don't want to skip over my boy, uh, Patrick Ricard. But then when you get to uh, receivers, they're pretty solid. Zay Flowers had a very good rookie year. Bateman's got some good speed. Uh, they do have some, you know, a good speed rookie here in Walker, who's a 94 speed. So they definitely have enough to make a receiving core. Mark Andrews, though, their tight end is probably their best receiver. Also, very fast. 87 speed, superstar X-Factor abilities, you name it. So, one of the best uh, tight ends in the game. You get to the line, they have a pretty solid line. Ronnie Stanley, superstar. Uh, they also have uh, Tyler Lindenbaum, former first-round pick. You get to the defensive uh, side of the ball, and we all know the Ravens are known for their defense. With uh, Matabuke here being a 92 overall, young player, uh, really good at holding the point of attack. Uh, Pierce still doing it, still hanging around. <laughs> you know what I mean? Two very strong defensive defensive ends to hold uh, the point of attack at the defensive line. And then a lot of talent behind them. It's like Trenton Simpson, who's a 91 speed guy. Uh, but Roquan Smith, one of the best linebackers in the game. Uh, they also have like Adefi Oa, who's 89 speed. He's guys way up to an 80 overall. So their secondary is very strong. Uh, with, with Marlon Humphrey being one of the best in the entire game, superstar player. Uh, the second best to me is probably Nate Wiggins, who's a six foot two, 96 speed cornerback. Uh, the safeties are really solid too, with Marcus Williams and one of the better safeties in the game, and Kyle Hamilton, who's already got superstar X Factor abilities. He's six foot four with an 88 speed. And then last but not least, we have 
have the Super Bowl champions two times in a row. Kind of hard to beat them off the top of this list in the Kansas City Chiefs. We got Patrick Mahomes, best quarterback in the game, all the way up to an 87 speed, which sounds kind of high. I don't think it was that way before. Uh, 99 throw power. He's just got everything. Let's just be honest. Let's just move on. Uh, running back, Isaiah Pacheco, a superstar now, if you missed the update at the end of last year. Also 93 speed, very fast running back, and he's a power back to boot. One of the better running backs in the game. It's insane. Uh, we get to uh, receivers. They don't really have a lot of highly rated receivers overall, but the speed is there. Uh, Hollywood Brown, 95 speed. Uh, Nicole Hartman, 95 speed. Xavier Worthy, their rookie. I don't know if he was their first round pick or what, but he's a 98 speed. So loaded with speed. Oh, and Rasheed Rice is their highest rated one who's just not as fast as these other guys. So he might not play as much, but yeah, you got all that. Then you got Travis Kelsey, 99 overall tight end. Maybe the, uh, you know, definitely the best in the game. Uh, the offensive line, they're not great on the edges, but their interior guys are all 90 plus. So definitely the best interior o- offensive line, although the, the, the outside is kind of more important in my opinion. So you might have some issues off the edge, but that's probably the only weakness on the entire roster. Then you get to the defensive ends. Carl Loftus is coming on uh, on the one edge, and then you also have Chris Jones, I think the highest rated defensive tackle, maybe the highest rated, uh, one of the highest rated defensive lines in the entire game. Uh, then you get to the linebackers, once again, a lot of speed. Leo Chanel, 88 speed. Uh, Nick Bolton, 87 speed. Very good linebacker. Danny Tranquil, 88 speed. Really strong three linebacker set. One of the better, more consistent three linebacker sets. You get to the secondary, and they did lose the Jerry Sneed, but they do have Trent McDuffie, who's still very good with a 91 speed. Uh, they also brought in Calvin Joseph, who's a 94 speed cornerback. So you can send him on blitzes, but they don't really have a good second corner. That's probably their second biggest weakness. Then you get to the uh, safeties, and they're not too great there, but they do have Justin Reed. Uh, rounding out, in my opinion, a team that's, you know, it's so good at what they're good at that it really doesn't matter that they have a few holes to hide, as they'll probably win the Super Bowl again. I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber, like, and let me know in the comment section. If you want to see some sleeper teams, I already made videos about that. I'll have that popping up on screen. So just click the link. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.